The majority of the job titles um, here at the lake that use this now is a park ranger or natural resource specialist. Uh, we also have civil engineer technicians here at the lake uh, that use it on a daily basis. However, the Corps of Engineers is a, a national, it's a federal agency, so it's much broader than just here. We work very closely with our district office in St. Louis, and there is a wide array of, of job titles there that use this. It's pretty much everybody from the biologist to the hydrologist to wetland specialists, cultural resource people, um, wetland modelers, you name it. Even our emergency management agency, they're using it. We've got numerous licenses within our district and they're constantly in use. We have a GIS manager, and I actually oversee the day-to-day -day GIS activities. We have a GIS analyst who does the parcel splits, the deed research, and any customer service that need to be provided. Then we have two part-time GIS technicians. Then, of course, the assessor and one of his clerks use GIS on a daily basis. We also have the highway department engineer and uh, one of his guys down there who they maintain bridge database and sign database in the highway department. Most technicians, whether they're water or they're linemen for electricity or gas folks, they are, they are having maps now in their trucks and they're not paper anymore. They're, they're, they're all electronic based. Uh, dispatch is happening electronically uh, through laptops now. So there, there is quite a connection between geospatial uh, and also just general service work. Uh, I see that to be a, a bigger and bigger thing and I see it stretching across all the uh, utility platforms that are, that are out there.